Question 1. What is controlled braking used for? Answer. It is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 2. Which of these is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Answer. Don't run any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Question 3. You should stop driving when... Answer, whenever you become sleepy. Question number four, you are checking your tires for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Answer, tires of mismatched sizes should not be used together in the same vehicle. Question five, if a straight vehicle, not trailer or articulation, goes into a front wheel skid, it will... Answer, go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Question six, if you need to leave the road in a traffic emergency, you should? Answer, avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Question seven, which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? Answer, unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock can require extra caution on curves. Question 8. According to the driver's manual, why should you limit the use of your horn? Answer, it can startle other drivers. Question number nine. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You are asked to deliver hazardous materials in a place carded vehicle. You should. Answer. Refuse to haul the load. Question number ten. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? Answer, sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Question number 11, your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. While traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Answer, pumping the brake pedal may bring the pressure up so you can stop the vehicle. Question number 12. You are driving a vehicle at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement. About how much total stopping distance will you need to bring it to a stop? Answer. The length of a football field. Question number 13. Which of these statements about cold weather driving is true? Answer, windshield washer antifreeze should be used. Question 14, when driving at night, you should. Answer, adjust your speed to keep your stopping distance within your sight distance. Question number 15, which of these statements about downshifting is true? Answer, when downshifting for a curve, you should do so before you enter the curve. Question number 16. For your safety, when setting out reflective triangles, you should... Answer, hold the triangles between yourself and oncoming traffic. Question number 17. As the blood alcohol concentration, or BAC, goes up, what happens? The answer, judgment and self-control are affected. Question number 18. Which of these is a good thing to remember about using mirrors?
Answer: There are blind spots that your mirror cannot show. Question number nineteen: Hydroplaning is more likely if the tire pressure is low. Question number twenty: If you are being tailgated, you should. Answer: Increase your following distance. Question number twenty-one: A key principle to remember about loading cargo to keep the load. Answer: Balance in the cargo area. Question number twenty-two: How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? Answer: Twelve to fifteen seconds. Question twenty-three: How do you correct a drive wheel acceleration skid? Answer: Stop acceleration. Question twenty-four: The purpose of the retarders is to. Answer: Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Question number twenty-five: You are driving on a straight level highway at five miles per hour. There are no vehicles in front of you. Suddenly, a tire blew out of your vehicle. What should you do? Answer: Stay off of the brake until the vehicle has slowed down. Question number twenty-six: You are driving a truck with a manual transmission. What gear will you probably have to use to take a long, steep downhill grade? The answer: A lower gear that you would use to climb the hill. Question number twenty-seven: You are checking your wheels and rims for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? The answer: Rust around wheel nuts may mean that they are loose. Question number twenty-eight: Which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for injured persons at an accident scene? Answer: Keep injured persons cool. Question number twenty-nine: You should avoid driving through deep puddles or flowing water, but if you must, which of these steps can help to keep your brakes working? Answer: Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Question number thirty. Which of these is true about radiator shutters and the winter front during winter driving? Answer: Ice should be removed from the radiator shutter. Question number thirty-one: You may hang up on a railroad track if. The answer: The tracks have a steep approach. Question number thirty-two: If you have a road emergency and must park on the shoulder, how soon should you put out your triangles? The answer: Ten minutes. Question thirty-three: Which of these do not provide extra gears on some trucks? The answer: Automatic transmissions. Question number thirty-four: Which of these is true about tire pressure? The answer: Air pressure in tires increases with the temperature. Question number thirty-five: 
What should you do if you are unsure whether you have enough overhead clearance? The answer, find another route that will not require driving under the object. Question number 36, what should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? The answer, release the accelerator. Question number 37, which of these is true about tires and hot weather? The answer, you should inspect your tires every two hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question number 38, the gross vehicle weight rating or GVWR means the following. Answer, the value specified by the manufacturer as the loaded weight of a single vehicle. Question number 39. The value specified by the manufacturer as the loaded weight of a combination vehicle is? The answer, a gross combination weight rating. Question number 40. To avoid an accident, you move to the shoulder. The shoulder is clear. You should... Answer, stay on the shoulder until your vehicle has come to a stop. Question 41, which of these statements about acceleration is true? The answer, rough acceleration can cause mechanical damage. Question number 42, which of these statements about brakes is true? The answer, the heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop it. Question number 43, when the roads are slippery, you should... The answer, make turns as gently as possible. Question number 44. You are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is not true? The answer. Brake shoes should have brake fluid on them. Question number 45. The driver's manual suggests several things to do when you pass a vehicle. Which of these is not one of them? The answer, at night, turn on your high beams before you start to pass and leave them until you have completely passed the vehicle. Question 46. The distance that you should look ahead of your vehicle while driving amounts to about one-fourth miles at normal highway speed. Question 47. When you are starting your vehicle in motion from a stop, as you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should... The answer, take your foot off of the acceleration. Question number 48. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? The answer, if the wheels are skidding, you cannot control your wheel. Question 49. Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? The 
The answer, you should inspect your tires every two hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question number 50. Your vehicle is in traffic emergency and may collide with another vehicle if you do not take action. Which of these is a good rule to remember at such a time? The answer, you can almost always turn to miss an obstacle more quickly than you can stop. إذا أعجبكم هذا الفيديو يرجى الاشتراك بالقناة وتفعيل زر الجرس. يمكنكم طلب كتبنا من موقع AmirUSA.com كتاب CDL للشاحنات وكتاب CDL للباصات باص المدينة أو باص المدرسة. Question number 51. In case of which fires can you use water to put it out? The answer, tire fires. Question number 52. To help you to stay alert while driving, you should... The answer, take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question number 53. To avoid a crash, you had to drive into the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? The answer, if the shoulder is clear, stay on the right until your vehicle has come to a stop, then move back onto the pavement when it is safe. Question number 54. Which of these statements about driving in areas with strong wind is true? The answer, winds are especially a problem when coming out of tunnels. Question number 55. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? The answer, keep your speed slow enough that you can stop within the range of your headlights. Question number 56. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry and visibility is good. What is the best amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? The answer, four seconds. Question number 57. What is the proper way to hold a steering wheel? The answer, with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Question number 58. High beams should be... The answer, used when it is safe and legal to do so. Question number 59. You can see a marking on a vehicle ahead of you. The marking is a red triangle with an orange center. What does the marking mean? The answer, it may be a slow moving vehicle. Question number 60. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment? The answer, valve clearance. Question number 61. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? The answer, stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Question number 62. You are driving a vehicle that could be driven safely at 55 miles per hour on an open road, but traffic is heavy and other vehicles drive the speed of 35 miles per hour. Though the speed limit is 35 miles per hour, the safest speed for your vehicle is more likely to be...
The answer, 35 miles per hour. What is counter steering? The answer, turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. Question number 64. Which of these statements about backing a heavy vehicle is true? The answer, you should avoid backing whenever you can. Question number 65. Which of these best describes how you should use a brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? The answer, release the brake when you are 5 miles per hour below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat again. Bring speed down 5 miles per hour below your safe speed. Question number 66. Which of these statements about using turn signals is true? The answer, when turning, you should signal early. Question number 67. Which of these statements about double clutching shifting is true? The answer, you can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. Question number 68. Which of these statements about speed management is true? The answer, you should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you could see ahead. Question number 69. Retarders can cause the driver's wheels to skid when they have poor traction. Question number 70. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should... The answer, stop braking, turn quickly, and then counter steer. Question number 71. When exiting or entering on a curved freeway ramp, you should... The answer, maintain a speed of 5 to 10 miles per hour under the posted speed. Question number 72. Which of the following vehicles will have the longest stopping distance? The answer, an empty truck. Question number 73. How many red reflective triangles are you required to carry? The answer, three. Question number 74. You are required to inspect your truck within how many miles after beginning the trip? The answer, 50. Question number 75. There are two types of jackknife. They are? The answer, both tractor and trailer. Question number 76. The BAC, or blood alcohol concentration, for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is? The answer, 0 0.04. Question number 77. Where should the ignition key be during the pre-trip inspection? The answer, in your pocket. Question number 78. When loading a trailer, if the cargo is loaded all the way to the rear, it may result in... The answer, poor traction on the drive wheels. 
Question number seventy-nine. Communication means. The answer to communicate your intention to other motorists. Question number eighty: If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first-time offense, you will most likely get. The answer: at least one year suspension of your CDL. Question number eighty-one: If you are stopped at the roadside rest area and found to have a BAC of zero point zero two, you will. The answer: be placed out of service for twenty-four hours. Question number eighty-two: Which of the following statements about speed management is true? The answer: If you double your speed, stopping distance will be increased by four times. Question number eighty-three: You are traveling down a long, steep hill. Your brakes get so hot that they may have failed. What should you do? The answer: Look for an escape ramp or escape route. Question number eighty-four: The center of gravity of a load. The answer can make a vehicle more likely to tip over on curves if it is high. Question number eighty-five: To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every ten cargo feet. Question number eighty-six: While driving, ice builds up on your wipers, and they no longer can clean the windshield. You should. The answer: Stop safely and fix the problem. Question number eighty-seven: When the hydraulic brakes fail while you are driving, the system will not build up pressure and the brake pedal will feel spongy or go to the floor. What should you do? The answer: Pump the brake pedal to generate pressure. Question number eighty-eight: Which may be a sign of tire failure? The answer: a vibration. Question number eighty-nine: To prevent brake fade, you should. The answer: select the gear which will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on a deep downgrade. Question ninety: Which of these is not a type of retarder? The answer: robotic. Question number ninety-one: The total weight of a powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called. The answer: gross combination weight. Question number ninety-two: Freeway exits can be dangerous for commercial vehicles. At what speed should you enter the exit? The answer below the posted speed limit. Question number ninety-three: Which of these statements is true? The answer: Many heavy vehicle accidents occur between midnight and six a.m. Question number ninety-four: Space to the front of your vehicle is most important to manage. Question number ninety-five: Your brakes can get wet when driving through heavy rain. What can happen if the brakes are applied? The 
The answer, a trailer jackknife. Question 96. Which of the statements about an inspection of the suspension components is true? The answer, axles mounts should be checked at each point that they are secured to the vehicle frame and axles. Question 97. Sometimes you need to leave a road to avoid a hazard or emergency. When you do, you should keep in mind that... The answer, it is less dangerous to drive on the shoulder than to cause a collision. Question number 98. Which of the following is not a characteristic of the failure? The answer, cold steering. Question number 99. Most skids... The answer are caused by going too fast or trying to stop quickly. Question number 100. In bad weather, many drivers tailgate large vehicles. What should you do? The answer increase your following distance. إذا أعجبكم هذا الفيديو يرجى الاشتراك بالقناة وتفعيل زر الجرس. يمكنكم طلب كتبنا من موقع أمير يو اس اي دوت كوم كتاب السي دي ال للشاحنات وكتاب السي دي ال للباصات باص المدينة أو باص المدرسة